Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another RMA Fire tutorial and let's talk about squishy balls. Today we're going to be looking into how, how we can create this and this is basically teaching you the concept of you've got an animated thing. You know, it can be a character, it can be basically anything and we, we want to have some vellum affected. Now, how do we control that? Let's have a look. So. I did my test scene, but I'm gonna build it from scratch with you guys here, but I'm gonna keep it on the side just as a cheat sheet. All right, so let's start with a sphere. And our sphere, we wanna animate it in any way that we want. But prior to doing that, let's go ahead and turn this into a polygon because we wanna have triangulated geometry to get nicer results when we run this through Bell. Then we're going to add a transform and this is what we're going to animate. Okay. Hit enter on your viewport and we want to animate the Y. So put on a keyframe right here. Let's go up, push it up. Another keyframe. And then we're going to have this thing go below the, the ground plane because we want to have some collisions there. And then we're going to hit shift and tap here so that we can view our curves. Um, and I'm gonna have it kind of like bank down a little bit more harshly. So let's see what this gives us. So it comes up and then it's gonna come down a little bit more intensely. Um, and I want this to be sort of faster. So let's see what this gives us. Let's uh, let's just make this part a little bit quicker. Then we're gonna do another keyframe here and we're gonna let it bank. And then we're gonna copy the two values here so that we can paste it again here and again here. a little rough but you guys get the idea so you just got this and we gotta figure out how we're gonna add some vellum to it so we're gonna go ahead and do a vellum cloth then right after our vellum cloth comes the magic we're gonna add a vellum constraint and attach this right here. And now what you want to do is in your constraint type, we're going to change this to pin to target. And then we're going to turn this to soft and the orientation type to soft. And we're going to tell it to match the animation. Then drop down a vellum solver. And our vellum solver for this case, I'm going to go ahead and turn off our gravity. So we hit play. Let's see what we get. So not, mu not much action happening just yet. Now we got to tweak a few parameters to make this work. Um, the first thing is that we don't really have velocity yet. So I'm going to add a trail right here and compute the velocity. That's really not going to do much just yet. What's going to do a lot is when we come in here and we reduce the intensity of the, the stiffness. So we're going to make this 0.01. And you can see that it's starting to stretch. So it's starting to get affected. Now we can play with how much it bends, how much it stretches. Um, I'm probably going to make it stretch much more. So let's see what we get. Oh, let's take a step back. As you can see, I made a mistake. So the stretch right here on the vellum constraints, if you reduce it a lot, is not going to be affected by the animation. If you increase it, it's going to be affected more by the animation. So what we want to change is in our vellum solver, we are going to reduce the stiffness.
and you can see that it's really getting wobbly now. How cool is that? So now we are getting some really cool results. Now, what if we come here into our Velm and add a ground plate? Now, what we want to modify is on our animation, we want it to start above the ground plane. So we do this and let's see what that gives us. How cool is that? So now we're getting collisions and we are getting some like wobbly stuff based off any animation input that you give this. Super helpful for, you don't really necessarily want to do this with cloth because you have a character underneath, but for example, the ears or the face get slapped or like you have a walking character and you want it to be like um, jelly, you can use stuff like this. Um, so this is a super helpful technique. Um, if you guys like this tip, leave a comment and I'll be more than happy to answer any questions. This is RMA and I'll be back with more.